When you think of virus protection on your phone, you'd probably think of something like a VPN. Now the problem with this is that the speeds are kinda slow, and most VPNs don't block viruses, especially the free ones. Instead, we're gonna be changing our DNS to a special DNS that blocks viruses. Most of the time, this DNS makes your Wi-Fi faster, and it's safe. If you're connecting to unsafe Wi-Fi's, this DNS won't really do anything to protect you from that because the DNS is meant for blocking viruses and malware from other websites. And if you're using HTTPS, it's already secured, that's what the S means, secure. So it's already encrypted, so you won't really have to worry about that. But if you want to, you can use a VPN on unsecured networks, and you can use this DNS for Wi-Fi's that you trust basically. If you don't already know how to change your DNS on your phone, just go to the settings app, and then click on Wi-Fi. Now from here, click on the I next to your Wi-Fi name. Then from here, scroll all the way down until you see Configure DNS. By default, it should be at automatic, but we're gonna have to change it to manual. Then just remove all the other DNSs that are there, those are the default ones that come with your router. And then add two new servers, one of them is gonna be 1.1.1.2, the other one's gonna be 1.0.0.2. And that's how you change your DNS on your phone. If you've heard about Cloudflare's DNS, you'd probably know that it's really fast and it is safe. But the default one does not block viruses and malware. Just because you have this DNS on, it doesn't mean that you can go to any sketchy website that you want to, because whenever you connect to a website, they can see your IP address. So just keep that in mind. Cloudflare has a page on their website explaining all about this specific DNS. It talks about how fast it is, how it blocks malware and viruses, and stuff like that. So I'll leave a link in the description. You can use this DNS with basically every single device that can connect to Wi-Fi, so I'd recommend using this on your computer with an antivirus and it'll be even more secure. If you want every single device on your network to use this DNS, then you're gonna have to configure that in your router settings. If you don't have access to that or you can't change it because some routers don't let you, then you'd have to do it manually for every single device that you have. If you don't know how to configure your router settings to use this DNS, just check the website in the description, scroll all the way down, and then you'll see how to change your router settings to use this DNS. If you don't know what a DNS is, I'll explain it real quick. If you're gonna go to youtube.com, all you needed to do is just type youtube.com in your browser and then you'd be there. But what happens behind the scenes is that your computer is talking to another one. Because a website is just another computer. And the way they communicate is by using IP addresses. Now your computer doesn't know the IP address of youtube.com because it's just a name. So this is what the DNS does. It figures out what the IP address of YouTube.com is, and then it fetches it back to your computer, and then you can connect to the website. If you're worried about safety, you don't have to, because Cloudflare has a policy where they delete stuff after 3 days, and all the stuff that they have on you is private and it's never sold. Also, if you're using the default DNS that comes with your router, then that's probably even more unsafe, or I guess not private, because they can see what you're doing, and then they could probably sell that to other people so they can advertise. Anyways, if that works for you, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.